Pretty good. This is one way that a Marlin is different from a Winchester. A Winchester, you can see, you can see the hole where it comes out in the bottom tang. You can see that hole, and you can draw that hole. This one, the hole is blind. It, it just comes in here from the top, and it just stops. So you've got a, that's a pretty precise drill. That's a very precise drill. What I'm going to do is drill a lot smaller hole than I need in this top. See, the threads are in the bottom down here. I'm going to drill a whole lot smaller hole than what I need and, and get, my, get my location of those threads. And then I'll enlarge the hole. And if I have to, I'll ooch it this way or that way, whatever it needs. But I'm going to start with a smaller hole, about half that size. That's nearly a quarter but I'm gonna start with a lot less than that what I think I'm gonna do is put that bolt take this out and put that bolt in here and put it beside it and draw me a silhouette down here on the side of this first I can mark the center of it Alright, I can go ahead and put that thing in there and lay this beside here and at least that way I can get a mark on the side of it over here where I can sort of tell which direction it goes. It should be a perpendicular drill to this surface, but that's hard, that's hard for me to set up with, with the technology that I do have. That's a difficult setup. That's pretty close to plumb on that line. And I'm not using my mill, I'm using my drill press. There's so much sun coming in the window in front of my mill, I can't see into it. That's as close as I can get it. I'm going to try to shine a light down that hole and see the threads if I can if I can observe the threads down there, I can tell a little bit more about what I'm doing. I can't see those threads if my life depended on it. That's the definition of a black hole right there. I'm going to have to just go, just drill a hole, and then just hopefully I can get it in the right place. I just don't know how else to do this. This is still a smaller bit than the hole, than the bolt. And that bolt is tapered. This is a tapered bolt. I don't know how much tapered, but it's designed, the further it goes in, the tighter it gets. Which is a good design because it, it draws up, but you have to have a special drill bit to drill that, or you have to drill about four different holes down through there.
that screw I've got it to where it'll go through the hole but there's no wiggle if it either hits those threads or it don't or I have to adjust it to make it hit the threads so it either hits or it doesn't it's actually so snug it won't go in there and I don't have a way of pulling it out because I can't drive it out from the bottom if it doesn't fit I really need to enlarge that hole a little bit maybe I can see those threads now I see something but I don't know exactly what it is I think those threads are just full of dust they are and by the way that is a chainsaw file otherwise known as a redneck taper drill okay the screw goes in and out pretty easily without the metal there find out how easily it keeps going with the metal in place If that thing catches those threads on the first try, I'm going to be amazed. I think I can see it's hitting the back of the hole, which is good because as I enlarge it this way, it'll, it'll keep it drawn tight. Yeah. So I need to pull this hole forward. It looks like forward and over. It looks like it's sitting a little bit, a little bit cockeyed from the bottom, looking at it from the bottom down here. So you always want to drill with, with the drill coming at you. You can see the point of this thing coming at you and you can steer it. You can, you can ooch it left or right. You can do a lot better with it coming at you than trying to go in from the top and trying to steer it. It doesn't work. And it grabbed. That thing is solid as a rock. It doesn't move. Yep. Like my pop used to say, looks like it grew there. Like mold in this corner of a shower. That's tight. That is tight. All right, now I'm gonna trim off the excess. I have to leave the action in there to do that.
have to give yourself enough wood to leave it there so you can sand it or when you get done sanding you're below the surface. Using my light, my light's on this side of the, on that side, and it's throwing a shadow over this way, to where I don't, I can feel it with my finger, but I'm also using the light. That shadow tells me, you know, a lot. <laughs> 